What's up everybody? We're back. Boulder Station once again. This is going to be night two or the second time testing out our um, single street Fibonacci with a double dozen hedge. And just like the other night, we're going to start off. We're going to do the first, the third, and the 16, 17, 18 single street. Uh, this is the sequence we're working with, so if you guys missed the last ones, um, essentially what we're doing is doing a single street Fibonacci using the double dozens as a hedge, and because we have an 11 to 1 payout, um, we essentially are making uh, three unit bets twice, and if we miss twice, we're going to move over to the next one and keep completing the sequence. And we get a nine, so that's going to be a hedge hit for the first one. But we're going to keep moving over, and um, with the total buy-in here, it would be sixteen fifty. And we're going to try to um, see if our twenty-dollar buy-in can withstand it. It did the other night. I'm going to go ahead and mark down a hedge hit up there, trying to keep room for more, just in case we decide to uh, extend the play or keep going. So let's repeat that bet. And once again, seventy-five cents in play. And just to give a quick breakdown, um, so one unit, twenty-five cents each times three 75 cents so until we get a loss um, we're gonna stay at this every time we get a head hit once we get a loss we're gonna move over here um, give it one more shot at the same level and then after we get a second loss we're gonna move over to the second level technically and that will entail two units times three and then it's a Fibonacci sequence oh 19 so close but so uh, so far away so Unfortunately for us, that's going to be our first miss, and that will demonstrate right here. We're going to go ahead and put an X. Um, uh, H is going to stand for a head shit, and X is going to stand for a loss, and a check mark is going to be a successful hit. So we are moving over to the, uh, this is going to be the first, we'll call this the first step, or, or first level, and second step right there. Or I guess first step, second bet. That would be the correct terminology. But uh, once again, we're doing an extended test. I had success with it the other night. I had success with the double street um, Fibonacci with a half table hedge as well. So it seems like these systems are very viable. And uh, we're going to keep continue testing them long term. So I hope you guys like this. Hope you enjoy it. Like and subscribe. We appreciate all the support you guys have been showing. All right, so that's a hedge hit. So that's a freebie. And once again, we're using this taper down here to kind of keep track of our data. Uh, we're going to go horizontally across and try to keep track of the hedge hits and um, the losses. And that way we know exactly where we went to, how many times, um, how much we're making at each level. And if we want to back test it or use this for um, in the future um, to look back and see if we can extrapolate anything from the data, at least we'll have this. But let me give you guys a good peek. You should be able to see that. Once again, sorry for my handwriting. It is really sloppy. Um, I, print, or I made a uh, new sheet tonight so that we could essentially restart. Um, I didn't want to... Um, combine all our results with the previous one but once again i'll put the link in the description below to the last night sessions oh that's a two so that's a head chip all right and once again the reason why we're doing this is to test the viability to see if um, potentially we could use these at higher stakes i do like how um, these fibonacci sequences on the single street and the double street essentially give you a decent amount of shots um, for a low amount of money and you know, if we run through this and we just got a bunch of misses, I could say, hey, you know what, it's not my night. Otherwise, the other night, I think we got a little bit over a 50% gain. I think we made like 12 or $13 um, in our previous session, and I believe it was around 45 minutes. So we'll see if we can um, have some similar results or see if we run out and bust it. But once again, $16 buy-in, we are playing 25 cent units. It is nice to have these um, smaller denominations available to us for these tests. Let's get that 16, 17, 18, come on. 35. All right, another head hit right there. And yeah, I like doing these tests. So, um, you know, once again, seeing the viability, you can learn something through experience. Hopefully you guys can learn along with me. Um, I really recently got into the Fibonacci. Most of the time when I played um, roulette or I would go on runs, um, I would either be playing single numbers, split numbers, using some form of a martingale. Um, I did look into the Fibonacci, but I never found it to be as beneficial. But when you start involving single streets and double streets, I really do think that there's something to be said about it. Um, the martingale sequence can get really deep once you start getting into um, doubling down, like on the fifth or sixth level. But the Fibonacci seems to have a little bit more tolerance when it comes to that and a little bit less variance. Oh, 24, so another miss. All right, guys, so that's two misses. So another good example of expending our first level here. So we're putting an X right there, and now we're going to be moving over here. And as you can see, our bets now entail a 50 cents per spot bet. So we're going to repeat 
and then we're going to double so we're at 50 cents and once again we're sticking with our first third and uh, the other day we played the 16 17 18 i tend to play that because uh 17 is my favorite number so that's the whole logic or rationale behind that but otherwise um yeah, we um, did pretty well the other day. We got to this point right here where we're at a lot. We got most of our hits here. We did end up going all the way down to this final level. And in fact, I didn't even have it marked down. I had to uh, do the math really quick, but we got it on there. Whoa, three. That was a weird bounce, but we got a three, so that's a head hit for us. And once again, we are betting 50 cents when we do uh, 50 cents per spot uh, for a total of 150. So when we do get a head hit, we are getting our money back. It's essentially a refund or a redo. And the only three holes that we're looking to avoid on the actual, uh, well, out of the 36 numbers are the 13, 14, 15, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and then those pesky, uh, I don't want to say them out loud, but I'll point to them. But once again, we are right here, so we have two losses so far, so the first level is gone. Uh, we are on the second level now, first step. And let's see if we can get a win here. As I said before, we did, this was the spot, or the uh, sweet spot in our previous testing. So 16, 17, 18, let's manifest it. 18, look at that. This seems to be the sweet spot for us. All right, guys, so that's gonna bring us 550. And we're in for 20, so it's nice to be able to see we're at $23. And a nice little, uh, we're off to a good start here. So we're gonna put a check mark up here. And now we've completed this series right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and circle it. And let's make sure we get our, get our bets off here. All right, so we are resetting back down to the base units. Um, on our first level, you can see we had two misses, or we had a head hit, and then we had a miss, and then we had a head hit, and then a miss, and then we had a hit right there on the third step, essentially, so. All right, guys, let's go. We're resetting all the way back down. Let's get it, let's get a repeater right here. 16, 17, 18, 16, 17, 18. We get a 30. All right, so that's a 30 red, and that's a head hit. Once again, we're on base units. And as you can see, the beauty of the hedges, um, hopefully if they if they go well and you don't hit your holes, they do give you some more equity as opposed to um, spreading your equity thinner and uh, needing more spins to get a hit. So let's go ahead and stay consistent. So we're gonna go down here right below it. And as you see, the whole point of this is we're gonna move to the right horizontally. And that way, if we go through, um, I don't know, seven series of um, spins or trying to complete it or eight or nine, we can keep track all the way across. But once again, if you're doing something like this, I really would recommend a paper. It's a lot easier for me when I'm recording, trying to think of my thoughts and everything um, to do it. But I would also recommend it for anybody. Oh, 18, look at that, back to back, or not back to back, but one away. All right, guys, that is the result that we want right there, so. Look at that, system is shining again. And we are only eight minutes in, so as you can see, 18 uh, right there. We had a 30, and then we had 18 prior to that 30, so 18's coming through for us. So let's go ahead and repeat our bets. And once again, we got that on the base unit. So that was a nice one, so check, circle. So as you can see, on the second series, oh, we got a little worried, I forgot to get the bets out there. Sorry about that, but on the second series, we got it on the second spin on the first series we got it on the fifth spin so a little bit more data for you guys to extrapolate that like uh looking at data and having all that available to you let's go let's get a repeater 16 17 18 oh we got a five and right next to that 17 guys look at that one away all right so let's see we are getting a head hit so we're gonna go to the third one there all right, so as you can see, we're on the third series here. Uh, the first two have been completed. We got a head hit on the first one. We are gonna make sure we put our bets out there and not get distracted. But let's see how we do on the third series here. And as I said the other day, uh, most of our hits were on the sweet spot, which we did on the first round right here. I think we did have one over here, but we did end up going all the way down to this uh, final level over here, the $2 uh, or $6 per spin level but we did get it fortunately from us it kind of bailed us out but once again check those out i'll put the link below all right we get a nine so that's another hedge hit and the hedges are coming through for us so far so let's go down here add another h rinse and repeat and we're gonna wait for our hit once again waiting for that 16 17 18 streak to appear
But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I really do think that if we um, run this a couple more times, um, I'm going to really go back and kind of compare and contrast this to the um, double street with a half table hedge. Um, this, you're getting a little bit more coverage, um, but because you're doing a single street, you're also getting a, a more payout or higher payout when you do hit on the first step of each level. So um, something to consider, but I think we're going to take a shot at higher stakes with it. 16, 17, 18. Oh, that's a 30. All right, we don't mind that. And I think that's uh, 30's come up quite a bit here, or at least twice in the past five spins or so. So we're going to repeat. We're going to make sure that we note down here that we have our third hedge hit there. Yeah, sorry about my handwriting. Um, I probably should do printouts. In the future, I'll think about doing that. But um, I usually do these um, on the fly. Um, like I said, I realized uh, they had a bunch of chicken scratch on the bottom from um, trying to keep track of the sequences that we did the other day. Uh, so I thought it would be best to have a new paper. Hopefully it's clear for you guys, but um, if you have any questions, let me know. But that's the sequence we're working with once again. So let's go. Third series of spins. Let's see if we can get that 16, 17, 18, 17. Oh, so close, but we get a 22. And 22 is not uh, going to be a good one for us. So we're going to be putting an X down here to complete that. All right, there we go. So that's an X. And we are going to be moving over right here. So that's going to be 111. So we're essentially repeating. And for those that don't know, um, the Fibonacci, this is kind of a modified version. Usually it's 112, uh, 3, 5, 8, 13. But um, the, the Fibonacci is um, each number is the sum of the previous two. So 1, 2 is 3. 2, 3 is 5, 3, 5 is 8, so on and so forth, but that is the Fibonacci sequence. It's found through nature and stuff like that. It's really interesting if you want to Google it, but in the sense that we're using it for a betting system, um, it's kind of a more mild progression than the Martingale, and it allows us to stretch out our potential or opportunities when we are betting, because we do have longer odds bets that we are trying to take advantage of, so... Once again, the whole point is to try to stretch that out as long as possible while maintaining a profitable hit every time you do get a hit. And I think we've accomplished that. Um, I did look at the footage um, of our previous round and that last hit that I had to do on this, and I believe we made like 50 cents or a dollar. So um, there would be at some point where um, you do reach that you want to start adding a unit or two to make sure that you are profiting. You would hate to um, essentially lose or break even, but since we do have a pretty mild or a uh, not so steep progression here, all right, that's a two. Um, it's not really much of a worry about us, but with the Fibonacci, normally you do go back two times every time you get a miss, or excuse me, every time you get a hit, and you recover when you go all the way back, but with ours, we've modified it, so. All right, so that's another head hit. But yeah, the Fibonacci is really interesting. I played it on the dozens, on um, the double streets now. Um, we've done the single streets, we've included hedges. Pretty soon, we'll do it on uh, split numbers. And that's when we can really start messing around and adding in a bunch of different variables. And um, rather than just using straight hedges, we can try to profit from the double dozens because uh, we do have some extra units we can work with. Uh, once again, thanks to those long odds. So we'll get into that. And um, if you do want to see that or you enjoy these, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's get that 16, 17, 18, 16, so, ooh, 22. So another dirty number. And that's the dirty number uh, twice for us now. In, fa in that kind of fashion. So once again, we're going to our sweet spot. So this one, for our third series of spins, we are now done with the first uh, level or step, and or I guess we'll call it first level. And we're going over a second level right here. So once again, that's gonna be double. And essentially that is the martingale right there. So if we only ever go between these one and two steps, we would be essentially doing a martingale. It's not until the third step or um, series, or not series, um, third level, that you're really um, highlighting the Fibonacci because right here you're just doubling and right here you're having the double and then so on and so forth you're entering into the sequence but let's get that 16 17 18 17 oh 32 right next to the 17 again guys what do we got to do to get it all right so as you can see that's a 32 but that is a head shit so we'll go ahead and mark that down right there and we're keeping track try and do it a little more neater a little more organized than i did the other night once again, I am trying to work on different methods or ways to keep track, um, perhaps using graph paper, printouts, or something like that. But I do want you guys to be able to see and follow along. And, uh, you know, if you, there is some data worth taking away from it, hopefully you guys are able to. But once again, this is just a uh, 
another Fibonacci system testing, um, extended system testing of the single tree with a double dozen hedge. All right, let's get it, guys. Let's go. 16, 17, 18. Let's get, this is our sweet spot. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. 23, Michael Jordan. That's my girlfriend's number. And I know that's a miss. That will be found in the middle dozen. So we're going to go X right here. And I did say this the other night, but when you get into these progressions, um, you'd rather have a hit right here on the first time that you enter into a new level. Um, you're taking away some of the profit by hitting here. But once again, with a system like this, um, the point isn't to maximize profit. It's to be able to withstand the variance with a more mild progression as opposed to a more aggressive one. So once again, something to take away. But this is the furthest we've gone right now. And to take note of where we're at, we are in for 20. We're at 2075. We have 150 out there. So we're still in the profit on the night. And this is the third series of spins. Let's get it, guys. 16, 17, 18, 16, 17, 26. All right, at least that's a headshot. So we're going to have another shot. And we're going to write that down right there. And once again, we're trying to stay neat with it. But let me know uh, what you guys think, all your opinions. Um, let me know if you guys play Fibonacci's modified versions. Um, I'm always interested to hear what you guys have to say or your takes on what I'm doing. So let me know. All right, we are 16 minutes in. We have our bets out there. And um, this paper, um, paper and pen really helps keep track. There's a lot of things in the casino that can get you distracted. So when you're running kind of, uh, I wouldn't say complex um, sequences, or progressions but you know when you're running something where it's really important to stay on top of your levels it would be advantageous to do it in my opinion Ooh, zero and I found that uh, found what we didn't want to see so we're gonna be moving on and the good thing about that is like I said moving on allows us to go to the next level which allows us to make more profit than if we waited until that level I do believe that's how it would work out so we are now on the three unit level so we're gonna not double here this is where we are Fibonacci <clears throat> a double would be to a dollar and that would essentially be following a martingale sequence so we are having the double by adding one unit 75 cents on each for a total of 225 in play and as you can see that's where we are right there first time going here let's get that 16 17 18 that we're looking for positive vibes let's get it guys let's manifest it right here it's gonna happen i can feel it 17 17 16 oh four 16 look at that right next to it so I called for the 16 after the 17, wasn't gonna hit, and we get the four. So we're gonna be marking a head hit for the first time. Right there. Hitting that repeat bet button. And um, I did a little recon before I played. We do have two other people playing with us that are playing roulette right now, assuming nobody else joined or they did not leave. I just took a peek and it looks like they haven't left, so assuming that uh, no one else has joined, there's at least three of us playing for those that are curious. But let's go guys, let's get it. Positive vibes. We're looking for that 16, 17, 18. Let's make it happen right here. I can feel it. We almost got that 16. Let's get it right here. Get that 17. 16, 17, 18, 13. That is no good for us. And that wasn't near any of our numbers either. That's an observation. So whew, taking the hits. All right, X right there. And we're moving on. And like I said, we would have preferred to have gotten a hit right there. But unfortunately for us, we're going to have to hope we can do it on this level. If not there, we want it there. But uh, the $16 really only allows us here. I would have to add more money unless we've gained enough. But I don't think that we have. Um, actually, we might have because I went in with uh, 20 and the, this progression is $16.50 total. So we have four. I think we made five. So we might have enough. We'll have to see. But uh, hopefully we don't even get there. Let's get that 16, 17, 18 right here. Send us all the way back to the beginning. And we will keep pounding away. We are almost 19 minutes in, looking for that 16, 17, 18, thank you. There it is, all right guys. So we would prefer it on the last one, but once again, we're not gonna be greedy. All right, so as you can see, 25, 25. So um, I don't remember where our last all-time high was, but I think it was right around there. But I do think that that is a new all-time high, if I'm not mistaken. So that is the third series. Let's go ahead and reset. Usually we get a back-to-back -back hit when we're doing these uh, double hedge single streets. So let's see if we can get one here. But we are going on to the fourth series now. So that was our longest one right there. And uh, it wasn't too scary because we did go all the way to the end the other night. So uh, I do have the expectation that we could get there. But hopefully we run good. Hopefully we pick the right street. Let's get another hit here. Back-to-back. -back. 16, 17, 18. 
16. There we go, guys. Back to back. What did I say? All right. Positive vibes. And that's what happens when you stick it, stick with it or stay in there, hanging in there. So looking at where we're at now, we are at 27.50. Uh, let me go ahead and mark that on the first one. So that was a back to back. And on that note, we're 20 minutes in. I think I'm gonna end it right there. Um, I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna call this part one of our second session or of our um, extended um, testing of the double street Fibonacci um, with, or a single street Fibonacci with a double dozen hedge. Um, so like and subscribe. I appreciate all the support. We've got four series done. We'll come back. Maybe we'll do uh, two more 20 minute sessions or whatnot. Maybe an hour testing tonight. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned until next time.